And we are currently live, supposedly. Is that correct, sir? Well, I just got the alert on the phone, so give it another second or two. All righty. Yep, we're live. All yeah. right, so we are live with another super exciting three guys gun chat. I don't know if we can say that word publicly, but we're going to do it anyway. So first off, big shout out to everybody who's joining us tonight. As you guys are aware, um, we've been kind of just going crazy on social media, introducing the topics for tonight. So obviously the first thing we're going to be doing and talking about and just kind of getting an earful from is going to be Jason from Lock Grips. So Jason is with us tonight to kind of talk a little bit about his awesome products. If you guys are not familiar with them, you really need to be, especially if you have guns that have replaceable grips. So um, we're going to start with him and, and just kind of get a, an idea of who he is and what he's all about. So Jason, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, glad to be here. And glad Very to be good. on your uh, your chat. No problem. Yeah. Glad glad you're here too. By the way, um, so why don't you tell us and everybody out there who's probably never seen you before uh, what you're all about? Yeah. So my company is Lot Grips. Uh, we've been in business for about four years now, and we make pistol grips. And right now, uh, CZs are our bread and butter. That's where we've kind of made our name and where we're most popular. And we're working on spreading out from there, but if you've got a CZ that takes grips, we can probably put a uh, hook you up with some nice set grips for it. Yes, yeah, you I, can. Yes, you can. I think all of us here have had the pleasure of owning your grips, and uh, I'm sure people who are watching this right now have also done that. Now, you mentioned CZ um, as being kind of your bread and butter. What do you? Why do you think that is? Why all of a sudden have you seen such an explosion on the market for this demand for grips for CZs? Why do you think that is? Well, I think first off, people like a steel frame gun and CZs have been around for quite a while, but uh, it seems to me that just in the past three years or so, they've really taken off in popularity. People are, and it's all through word of mouth from what I see is one person gets them and then their friend gets to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. And if you've never held a CZ, you should give it a try because even with the stock grips, uh, they feel awesome in your hand. There's just something about it that feels good. And not only that, they shoot awesome. Uh, so I think that it's just been a word of mouth that people are finding out about these CZs and people that are coming from 1911s that really like a steel frame gun, get a feel of a CZ and they they really see the, the value in the CZs. And on top of that, you can get a CZ uh, kind of base model for a fairly cheap price and it's going to be a nice shooter right out of the box now have you seen a particular cz that you keep shipping grips for is there one particular model that you are just out of control making these for yeah uh shadow 2 is obviously their their newest model and we ship a ton of grips for shadow twos and you know one thing about the shadow 2 thanks CZ is that they come with these aluminum grips on them. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody likes how the aluminum grips look. And they, a lot of people like how the gun feels in their hand with the aluminum grips. But if you get into, uh, if you're a competitive shooter or you're just out in the elements shooting that gun and your hands get wet or sweaty, all of a sudden those aluminum grips don't work that well. Mm -hmm. And that's been a windfall for us. Yeah. is that people love these guns but the grips le leave something to be desired as far as performance goes right and if somebody likes the feel of that gun in their hand with the aluminum grips we have a thin grip that's very similar but it's made out of g10 material with better texturing that is going to solve the performance issue while keeping the feel of the gun the same in your hands right now and these two I'm, I'm, I'm sorry jake go ahead and then on top of that, if somebody likes the gun but has a bigger hand and wants a little bit bigger grip, then we've got a palm swell for that. And them two are our biggest sellers. Big Big J is definitely into our palm swells, and uh, and and so Shadow Two is is uh, very popular for us. And then just uh, the other CZs, as far as uh, SPO One, PO One PCR compacts, uh, just depending on on what they're using right. using them for but yeah our, our most popular grip that we sell is a palm swell grip and it's for 
uh, full size CZ 75s and for the shadow too. That's our, that's our most popular grip. And then right behind that would be a, a thin grip for the CZs. Very good. Now I know these two guys, uh, with us have uh, shadow twos and, uh, and I think they both have TSOs. Um, and I know automatically the first thing they both did was say, Oh, gotta get some lock grips. So KS and big J, what are your thoughts on that? Go ahead, KS. Um, well, I, I mean, so all the CZs in the collection, all the, the steel or alloy CZs in the collection have lock grips. Actually, ironically, with the exception of the TSO, and right now I'm, I'm just kind of kind of featuring it as is so I can do the, the first video with it. I try and do that most of the time with the first video just so people can get a sense of what it is out of the box, although I, I actually did change the trigger, but but that's a whole different story there. But uh, But I will eventually moved to some uh, some uh, thin checkered grips because I have found that those are my favorite. I mean, the, the Shadow 2, uh, you know, Jason, you did those black grips with the with the blue CZ uh, emblem on it. Um, and I, I just absolutely love the feel of it. Um, it's it's amazing. And and uh, somebody was actually asking about the, uh, the SP-01, and I can't remember who it was. I was kind of cycling through. I think it was Music Lover. Um, and you had asked if uh, people do grips for the uh, the SP01, and I know people aren't going to be able to see this very well, but this is my SP01 right here, and uh, they're black, thin checkered grips, but they've got this this orange stripe on them, and I think it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, I this is by look, this is my favorite gun without question, and it all has to do with that silly little orange stripe that you wouldn't think means anything, but it, it to me it means the world. I mean, it just is this little pop of flare, and it's the exact right color that's a contrast but a compliment at the same time and and yeah so your 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 grips elevate the cz's in my mind to the next level there's no question yeah in my yeah, opinion is, oh, go, go ahead jason i'm sorry i was just gonna say real quick anytime somebody asks me what they should choose for their urban gray cz that's the color combination i recommend black grips with that orange liner i it's the nicest combination for, for me on that gun. I like it is. It. I really like it. it. It really is. Yeah. And for me on the lock grips, you know, the standard grips, hell, even on the 97B, and Jason knows this, that's about the widest CZ that's made, you know, the, for the 45. And a lot of people want thin grips for it and things like that. But I actually want bigger grips. So Jason was actually able to build up a set, which is probably unheard of. But, you know, when you're carrying these meat hooks, you got to have something to fill the to fill the void and all the CZ grips just don't work for me. They're just too thin. So I'm a big Palm Swell fan and uh, you know, Jason's able to build those up for me. And I even have, I think he's even done thicker Palm Swells for me. Um, so it's out of the ordinary and no one else could do that. You know, you don't just go and buy them off the shelf and, you know, and, and again, you know, like way back when, when, you know, I was talking to Jason, he had a lot of the basic colors and I like the real crazy stuff. And I like to distinguish my SP01 or my whatever gun it is. that's just plain black. I like to make it mine. And that's the easy way to do it with crazy colored grips or whatever the moment you're feeling. And the cool thing is, is you can move them from gun to gun or the mood you're in or whatever, you know, and that's also another great feature of them. So I'm a big fan. And plus just the grip alone, I mean, those things stick in your hand. They're literally locked grips. Mm -hmm. You don't have any of that slipping. And I've been in the competition crap, you know, trying to shoot those aluminum ones, and they're really worthless in the real world. They look pretty sometimes on on pictures, but shooting them normally, they're not fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I, uh, go ahead, Jay. And uh, Big Johnson uh, got me into all those crazy colors. You know, I was uh, a little more reserved with my color choices and uh, just never really came, never thought of it really. And, he started, we started talking some and working together and he started, kept on requesting these crazy colors and I'd go out and buy the material and make a set for him. And sure enough, once he got them out there, all of a sudden people would see it and more people are requesting them. And now we've got a ton of crazy colors. And mm -hmm. if you want to keep it uh, plain and simple, we can do that. And if, if you want it to stick out, we can make that happen too. Yeah. Cause I think that's part of the, the, uh, the attraction to your grips because i mean there's there are other manufacturers obviously that make them but it's always the same uh you know od green fd nothing wrong with those colors i have them but uh you know then all of a sudden you start introducing the ridiculously bright with that uh, oh my god i'm muzzling myself uh but you can see that's got the red stripe in the back so i mean it's just yeah. it's just those little things that absolutely set you apart from other manufacturers because at least you're willing to go out there 
You're willing to listen to the customers, which I think is probably the most important factor in all of this, because, you know, let's face it, most people will wind up buying that the SPO one tactical and it's black because obviously the FDE will cost more and uh, they just want a little bit of color that's going to just make it theirs. They're going to say, this is my gun, as opposed to just being an, a regular SPO one and just having those options, I think, makes yours such a more attractive um, product, you know, and, and again, a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, this sounds like a commercial, but it, it's not. I mean, these are products that we are using. These are products that we are currently carrying on multiple firearms that we own that we've had, some of us have had for, you know, a couple of years now. And, you know, the products are great. They stand up to just about anything and everything. Um, again, easy to clean. I saw that video you made about cleaning the grips. So, I mean, it's just, I don't know what else anybody could want in one of these types of grips for a handgun that they own. Now, aside from CZ, because we're going to start getting some CZ hate here because we talk about CZs way too much, what are some of the other models of handguns that you are currently making grips for? And what would be some of the guns that you may be looking at in the future to create grips for? Sure. So uh, right now we also make grips for 1911s, of course. Any variation in 1911 out there, we can make a grip for. Uh, we do a SIG 238, SIG 938. Uh, Browning High Power, uh, a Beretta 92, and we also make grips for the police trade-in Beretta 92S, which there's a lot of those out there right now because people can get them cheap. Mm -hmm. And we're one of the only people that are making grips for those guns. Uh, so those have actually been a really good seller for us. Uh, let's see, CZs. Uh, Tank Folio, Stock 2, Stock 3, we make grips for. And... We're working on grips for the other tank folios right now. There's so many other, so many variations on them right. guns. Yeah. It's, I'm still learning about all the variations. It's, it's really hard to get a handle on all the different variations of those, but we're working on uh, grips for those. We get a lot of requests for that. Uh, what other guns do we have? I think that's, that's about it. And then new guns that we're working on, uh, CZ Ramey grips uh, will be coming soon. Sweet. And what else? Uh, revolvers, we're working on grips for here soon. Nice. Uh, I probably can't say the manufacturer right now, but we are going to be making grips for uh, direct for a manufacturer here pretty quick. Nice. And awesome. that's been an awesome opportunity that. You know, obviously, it's been a goal of ours to do for a while. That's that's going to be happening very soon. Uh, Excellent. Just Excellent. about have those ready. And oh, let's see. I'm blanking on the rest of the guns that we're making grips for. Uh, <laughs> double stacks. We're going to be having some grips for double stack 1911s pretty quick. Uh, we got some more, but I can't think of them right now. <laughs> so, so it sounds like pretty much anything that you can replace, that's what you're looking for. You're just going to be exactly, and and we've had these uh, new guns in queue for almost a year now, and I've been leading customers on for a long time, and I apologize for that. I've been saying a month, for, uh, it's going to be a month. We'll have these grips ready, and we keep on getting more and more busy. And all our time has just gone to manufacturing grips for orders uh, for the past six, eight months now. And uh, I've just recently got some more guys hired, and we're going to be getting back to making grips for new guns very soon. Along with other products. Hey, Jason, we got a couple of questions, and I know the answer to one of them, but uh, SIG uh, 226, any grips for it? There's another one. We get a lot of we get a lot of requests for uh, some of those SIGs, and that's definitely one that we're going to be working on soon. the The harder part with those SIG grips is the grip is actually pretty thick because it wraps around the back, yeah. the back strap of the gun. So where usually you know we can use a say a five sixteenths to three eighths inch piece of material to make a grip. For those, we need more of like a five eighths inch uh, thick piece of material. So it's going to happen soon now. But yeah, that's one that we've been putting off just because the material is so much different than the rest of the grips that we make guns for or yeah, grips for. We have another another question for the TriStar, and I experimented with those. Um, and yours do fit the TriStar. Some adjustments you have to 
file a little bit off of like a corner or a bottom just because they're made just a little differently, but they will fit a TriStar. Have you had any other? Yes. Yeah. I was just gonna they say will fit. Had... I get, there's a Go few ahead. different clones like that and I get them confused a little bit, but we're working on a big website update right now. And as part of that, we're going to have a lot better information about what, what grips are, what, what grips will fit the clones, what kind of adjustments will be needed. Right. Uh, that information is out there on YouTube, in forums, Facebook groups, all that. So we're going to, we're going to take it, that information and bring it into our website so that people don't have to always go out and search for it. Right. And uh, that's something that I've really been focusing on lately. I just, I just hired a guy that that's a big part of his job is just working on our website and getting, helping us get that information out there. That was like that video about cleaning the grips. Uh, you know, he helped with that. And that was just something we did real quick because it was a, a question that we got from a couple of customers that day. So we're really working on getting information out there because unless you're an expert in these guns, a lot of times it's very confusing about which grips fit which gun, what options you need on the grip. Mm -hmm. uh, 1911s are the number one culprit in that area just because there's so many different variations. Uh, you know, it took me a few months of just looking over the internet and YouTube videos to, to figure out all those different options. Wow. Yeah, on the TriStars and the Canics, you know, I know that Coda Boy has a lot of the Canics and he's put yours on just fine. And then I, you know, played with TriStars and stuff and I had to file just a little bottom part off and I just used a little file and did it and it fit perfectly. So uh, you can make them fit. I haven't had any issues with them. So now, Jason, what, what would you can you kind of go through for us and for people watching? What is, what is a typical work day for you guys like at Lock Grips? Because I think a lot of people, you know, when they when they start looking at the products and they want to buy stuff, they don't really realize just how much goes into the plotting out, the planning, the manufacturing, the packaging, the communication, the emailing, the just you name it. So if you could maybe just give us a brief overview of what a day of, of work would be for you and your guys, um, I yeah. think that would be very eye opening for us. Yeah, so first off, it's uh, it's me and five other guys now that are five guys that are full time that are making grips. And I have three guys out in the shop that are machining the grips all day. So so their day is out in the shop uh, working on the grips, machining them through our different processes. Uh, my day is mostly customer service and new product development. So, you know, my day usually starts out on the computer uh, going through my emails. You know, every day I have probably 100 to 150 emails to go right. through. So that's a big challenge just on its own, getting through that. And, uh, and then after that, it's just figuring out what's the priority for that day for the orders and uh, getting the orders out to the guys in the shop. And once they have the orders, then, you know, these grips, we buy our material in a, in a sheet. So it's a two foot by three foot sheet of material. And then we cut that material up into blanks uh, for different sizes for different guns. So then they'll take the blanks and machine them through our processes. And then once the, once the grips are off the machine, then they'll get sandblasted. And that just uh, kind of gives the grips a nice uniform finish. And then once they're sandblasted, we wipe them down with mineral oil. And that's what really helps to bring the color out on the grips. Uh, so that's kind of the, the process of making the grips and the guys, what they're doing, working out in the shop. And then I have two more guys that work for us. One does my uh, sales and marketing, basically. So he's taking care of the website. Uh, and taking care of like our social media posts, stuff like that. And then I have another guy that I also just recently hired and he's gonna eventually be in charge of the shop floor and does my programming for my CNC machines. Nice, nice. So so I've got a question for you. Um, in, in terms of new models, as you're getting ready to do a new design, uh, whatever it happens to be, what's, what's the time it takes you? And I think Harry had asked this question, uh, Harry Solsters a little while ago. What's the time it takes you to go from idea 
to final product, uh, that that design phase and uh, getting it machined, and and I'm sure there's some fine tuning, whatever. How long does that take? Well, I mean, up until recently, it's been a very long time, just because I haven't had the time to work on new products. So I would get a little bit of work in where I could. So it was taking me three to six months. Wow. But now that I've got more guys on board, uh, I'd say it's probably one to two months. And you know what that process looks like for me is I get the gun in here and we get a, a good base. We just make a grip that fits the gun. And once we have that, then we start working on the shape of the grip and how it feels and just how it feels good to me in my hands is kind of what I'm going off from at first. Mm -hmm. And once I do that, uh, I have a good network of guys that I've built relationships with, uh, including you guys and other competitive shooters and guys I've met along the way. And I, I'll send them out to them for their feedback because I like guns. I like to get out and shoot guns when I can, but I'm not a competitive shooter mm -hmm. and I don't have all the answers myself. So I look to, I, I do first off what I think is best. And then I look for feedback from other guys. So, so there's some time taken in there, uh, just getting feedback from other guys, seeing what everybody says, and then kind of filtering all that information into what adjustments I think we should make. And once we have a final product like that, then, uh, you know, the, then we just have to get good pictures of the grips, get them up on the website and start selling them. Uh, so that, that's kind of our, our basic process. Do you do everything by CAD? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Do you do everything by CAD? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're working with CNC machines, then we have to be working with 3d models. So, so I have, uh, Nobody in shop here really does 3D modeling, but I have guys that uh, are freelancers that do all my 3D modeling that other guys I've built really good relationships with. And, you know, it's amazing what you can get done with. Uh, all I do is take videos explaining what I need done, send it over to them along with the file. And we just go back and forth like that, machine apart, see how it feels. Uh, make another video saying, Hey, these are the tweaks I think that should be made. And after going back a few forth, a few times like that, uh, we usually have a good product. Cool. Wow. It's awesome. So what do you, what else do you guys have for Jason? Um, I had, a, I had a, I'm going to have to go back and rethink it again. Cause I can't remember the question <laughs> I had. I feel like a dumbass. Oh, never, never, sir. No, it's uh, shocking. I know, but it's true. That's well, sick. while you guys are thinking, I uh, 17, I know you said you liked our tray uh, here. I wanted to show you guys some new Kydex trays that yeah, we got I made. Yeah, you about those, man. I saw that on, and, uh, uh, I saw on Instagram. Yep. Yeah, the guys at Cobra Kydex made these for us, and they're awesome. I seen, I seen them pop up on his Instagram page, and he just had his logo on there. Uh, it's like, man, I got to get some of those. So. <laughs> This is where I'm sending this up to you. Oh man. And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, I, I got this camo fetish. I can't help it. Big J, I've got for you. Uh oh. It's got to be an orange. Maybe one of these two. <laughs> the orange. <laughs> I like the orange. Uh, so they all have, I don't know if you guys can see, but they do have our logo. Yeah, that's in, awesome. Embossed into it. They look fantastic. They're, yeah. they're pretty sweet. And then KS. Uh, I thought Did maybe you one of these. Pink? Mine's pink polka dot. <laughs> I got this red carbon fiber that looks pretty nice. Oh, that we is got a, sexy. We got a, a black carbon fiber look. That's nice. pretty nice. And then there's more of just kind of a straight, like matte gray here. That's um, pretty cool. That looks pretty nice too. So you let me know after the chat what you'd like and 
I'll get that sent out to you. Well, much obliged, brother. That's uh, that's that's an honor and uh, some serious Instagram fodder right there. Um, and actually, that that reminds me of the question. Um, so, in terms of marketing, in terms of uh, uh, what you found, I mean, we've had, we had a conversation prior to getting on uh, air tonight um, about marketing a little bit. Uh, you know, because there are a couple of different channels that uh, that people generally gravitate towards in terms of so social media. I think uh, YouTube is certainly a very big one, but. Uh, Instagram, I think the three of us are discovering Instagram to be a really viable, at least uh, supplement to our YouTube channels, or at least I feel like it is. Um, I, I think it's definitely a good supplement, a way to tease things and get some extra marketing out for the good companies that we work with like you. Um, what, what have you found has been the most successful avenue for you guys? Uh, Social media, the internet, YouTube, whatever you want to call it, it's all been it's all been good for us. There's no way we'd be doing what we're doing now without the internet. Uh, and yeah, you know, there's guys on with YouTube channels that have 200,000 followers that aren't messing with my products or, you know, I don't know what it takes to get your products into them guys' hands, but for me it's just the small guys uh you know guys that are passionate about guns and that are doing it on their free time because they love it so that's who i try to get my products into their hands and uh and for me that's that's been the the uh the most successful thing for us is just what they call influencer marketing it's it's people that have youtube channels just normal guys that are out out at the range on the weekend shooting competitively on the weekends having fun with their guns basically mm -hmm. and that's to me who who's the most persuasive uh most persuasive people pushing and giving putting a light on my products mm -hmm. uh you know if 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 right now it doesn't matter what you're looking to buy and if you want to do some research, what are you going to do? You're probably either going to go on Google and search for reviews on the product, go on to YouTube, see what people say, have see what people have to say about the product. So that's where I try to get my products out into uh, into the hands of just normal normal guys that are that are passionate and have a have a little bit of a following online. I remember when Big J reached out to me. I don't even remember. I remember you reached out to me about the grips and it seems like you had less than 500 followers at the time on your, on your yeah. YouTube channel. And, yeah. and, and yeah, I thought, well, let's, let's get some grips in his hands, see what he thinks. And that's the nice part for me is to make a set of grips isn't too expensive. So I can get some grips into people's hands and it's not that big of a, a cost for me. And that's that's our best marketing is just getting them into people's hands and letting them talk about the products, because if people hear me talk about the products, uh, first off, I'm biased. Right. Right. So, you know what I'm going to say? It's the best one out there. Yeah. But if if uh, people trust guys that are just out there doing this because they're having fun with it. So so that's who I'm trying to work with. And that's who's been the best sell, best, best marketing for my grips. And, you know, just to speak to the power of the internet, 20% of my sales are international. And I'm working out of a small town here in Michigan. And uh, we're shipping all over the world. I think 80 different countries or something. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. And that's all, that's all YouTube. Instagram, Google, uh, Facebook. That's, that's where that's that's, 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 that's amazing because I would never have thought that you had such a, a huge uh, share, uh, especially you know internationally. That like that's to me that's so amazing, you know. Because obviously, when you think I, about your product, you're thinking domestic and everybody here. But to know that you're actually selling them overseas at that rate, that's that's pretty cool, man. I sponsored a shoot in Norway. Not that long ago. No. Nice. Uh, just, the, just the guys reached out to me. And it's not like I was given a ton of money or, or anything. They just wanted some grips and and uh, some products like that. But, 
yeah, it's amazing to me. You know, I, I never thought that would have happened. And yeah, here we are every day shipping to tons of different, a, a lot of different countries every day. Wow. Well, here I, I want to say something real quick. I mean, uh, Jason, that, that it's it's very fascinating about the marketing and the social media and everything. And and uh, I know that that we're all very lucky to 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 be able to partner with you and and work with you on some things. And you know, we're we're average guys just like everybody else out here. You know, we're consumers. Um, we like to go out on the weekends, as you said, and and shoot. We're not we're not paid to do any of this stuff. We don't we don't have companies beating beating down our doors with checks or anything like that. Which is which is good. I wouldn't want that. Um, and that's not what I do this for. It's all it's all for fun and everything. But because we are consumers, we have choices, right? We can we can go out there and there are other companies that make similar products to yours. But at the end of the day, we want to find products that that we know, um, as 17 said earlier, that we're going to like, we're going to enjoy, we're going to be proud of, they're going to work, they're going to be good quality, all of those things, all of those things that we love in the products that we're spending our hard earned money on or uh, companies that we're working with, you you do it right. I mean, you know, you hit all the marks uh, every time. So I think it's easy for us to uh, to talk about lock grips on on YouTube and on Instagram and all those things because they're products that we stand behind. Um, and that I wouldn't put anything on my channel that I didn't stand behind. Or if something broke down the road, I'm going to tell everybody about it because I'm a consumer and I would want to know. And I think the other guys feel the same. So it's a two way street and. Uh, um, and it, it's, we're, we're proud to be able to, you know, share the excitement of finding good, good products and good companies to work with. Um, it's important to us. Yep. Well, thanks. And you know, one of the, one of the other, I think main differences, like you said, there's, there's other, there's other companies out there making G10 grips and other pistol grips. But one thing that we do better than anybody I can say confidently is customer service. Uh, and, and, uh, that goes a long way with people, I think is that if you call, you're gonna talk to me. And if you have questions, we're gonna answer them. If we made a mistake, we're gonna fix it. And if you have something else in mind than what we offer, we're gonna hear you out and see if we can help you out. You know, and that's that's what I really like about, you know, like, of course, with some people have larger hands, smaller hands, et cetera, but I know you've made thinner grips for smaller hand people, you made thicker grips for larger hand people. And then if the shelf, the little top shelf gets in the way, you know, you've, hell, I can take the top shelf off the left side and leave the right side. I mean, you, you, you customize it for the person and you just can't get that anywhere else, you know, and I've had other grips and I've even, you know, shown the difference between the other manufacturers and I'm not going to bring them up, but you know, when I could push them, even when they're completely tight, you can push them and you can get flex. And I've never gotten that with yours. You know, I've always just had that super, super feel. And that's why, I mean, I'm not just because you sent me a pair of grips. I mean, I actually believe in the product and I mean, they're great grips and, and um, you know, hell, I've never, ever had a problem with one where I've had others come loose. I've never had yours or delaminate. I had one set that actually delaminated of another company, never had that problem with yours. So, and, you know, hell, we're not guys that put them on a, on a gun and then throw them in a drawer and they sit there for five years. You know, we're using these guns, we're playing with them, we're beating them up, you know? And that's the good thing about a small business, you know, where you started, hell, I remember way back, you know, it was yourself and I think it was just yourself, you know, uh, when I was dealing with you. And it's like, okay, I'll do that. And, you know, then you've grown to, you know, what now, five employees? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a small business in America that's making stuff happen. That's what it's all about, mm -hmm. you know, USA, so. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I feel like I'm living the dream. I mean, uh, you know, I, I get to work with products that I love, uh, and I'm really proud of the team that I've built up here. You know, I got a lot of. I've got good guys that are working for me. Uh, everybody that's working for me has come on board because they were a machinist and they like guns, and you know, everybody here likes what we do and. I think it shows in our products and you know it gets stressful from time to time but at the but most of the time we're having we're having fun here and we're we're making products that we love and the other thing is we're working with the gun community and it's just an awesome community of people that you know for the most part are positive want to help you uh 
want to see people do well and want to help each other. And it's just been a good experience all around. Yeah. And, and I also want to just say one of the things that I think obviously will separate you from anybody that's making these is the fact that on how customizable they are. You know, that is one thing that I have to say that the, the attention paid to every single detail when you produce the grips is phenomenal. You know, we had a question saying, you know, how is the overall quality? Look, I mean, it's top notch. There's, in my opinion, I've had other grips. These have been the best that I've owned. Um, you know, when you, you look at that one, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the one Jason had said, I don't know if you guys can see it. it might be too bright or whatever. But, uh, you know, he put the logo of the channel on the grips. I mean, you can't find that in any other manufacturer. And just, the, and I mean, the detail that's there is just, it's superb. It's, it's absolutely next to none. And, uh, I, you know, I'm proud to be a part of the fact that, you know, we've had a working relationship for a couple of years. I mean, I think we all have. And just yep. seeing the company grow and, and just seeing the dedication you have to it, man, I, I'll tell you, it's, that's what it's all about. I think for us three, you know, you were saying, you know, how hard is it to get, you know, a person with 200 plus thousand subscribers to recognize your products? You know, honestly, th it's them that are missing out because yeah. we've had the privilege of, of owning this stuff and using it and and not just you know putting it back in a showcase or something of that sort and honestly you know what I, i'm i'm i guess blessed and proud to be a part of it because it's just uh you make amazing stuff man bottom line yeah well yeah and matter of, we've got some great subscribers you know like aaron nehemiah he ordered the uh the ones you the custom inlay you made with the sickle for his uh yeah the cold war thing. Yeah, the cold oh, easy. that yeah. thing was freaking awesome and i saw pictures he put up on instagram and and uh you know hell insights got him on his shadow too i mean we've got guys in here just raving about them so it's not just us you know it's actually other subscribers talking about them you know and and loving them too so and the the thing i like about doing the custom work is we don't really make that much money on it because it really does take a lot of work to do that and you know my employees make decent wages. So I got it, it. We don't make a lot of money on it, but what it does do is it, it gets our creative juices flowing a little bit and makes us do things that we wouldn't normally think of. And so somebody asks for something that we never thought of, but then that gets our, our head, our, our wheels spinning on something else. And all of a sudden it's like, Man, he had this idea, which is really good. But I think if we tweaked it a little bit and did this, I think everybody would like it and we could sell it. So it winds up just really uh, helping us create new products all the time by doing this custom work. And it's uh, it's something that we really like doing and we get some we get some crazy requests, <laughs> but it's a. Uh, it's it's been awesome that custom work and just the new products that have come out of of that custom work hmm. yeah they do what's what's been the craziest thing somebody's asked you to make for them oh let's see recently uh mickey mouse flipping people off oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> that that was one uh what else crazy colors uh easy easy <laughs> but that's the one that's coming to mind that yeah recently was just the the mickey mouse flipping people off and it was like a ton of detail that went into it and a ton of work and you know if that's your thing it looked awesome <laughs> nice nice <laughs> So, yeah, but I'm definitely glad to be part of the group on those. Um, you know, it's a neat thing. Definitely a neat thing. Ooh, uh, uh, Young Guns is saying he's got a Cold War CZ75 and he wants some custom grips. There Here you go. Comes. That's the ones we were just talking about. Yep. Yeah, check out our pictures on Instagram. You can see the, the grips that Big J was talking about. They're yeah, black Aaron. grips with a red sickle inlay. Yeah, if you check out Aaron, he's he's on the chat too. He's the one that has them, and um, yeah, he's those things are awesome. Mm -hmm. And the inlay that you do, I mean, you know, I thought it's cool because it you know stands up, and I thought, man, I wonder if this is going to rub off and stuff. And hell, I 
squeezed them, rubbed them. I've never had any issue with them. So whatever the hell you put them on with works. Yeah, we cut a nice pocket out and then it gets pressed into, so it's two pieces of separate material, gets pressed into the grip and epoxied in there and they aren't going anywhere. We've never had one pop out or anything like that. Yeah. Now, just really quick, uh, what is the warranty on your grips? Because I know some people will probably be wondering the question if there's any issues with the grips, you know, how do you honor the, uh, the manufacturing of them? Well, first off, it doesn't matter. We don't have any upset customers. <laughs> We're going to do whatever it takes to make them happy. Uh, oh, like officially, our, our, uh, our, our warranty is that once you get the grips, you get them for 60 days and you can exchange them out and you're welcome to shoot them during that time. Do whatever you want. As long as you don't alter them, we'll take them back, exchange them, whatever you want to do. Uh, but with that said, if you ever have a problem with our grips, we're going to take care of it. Uh, I would expect our grips to last a lifetime. There is no reason that they shouldn't unless you're rubbing them on the cement, hitting right. them with sandpaper or, or doing something crazy. Right. Uh, so I don't, yeah, I, if you look at our reviews online, you'll see they're all positive. And that's because we focus on customer service. And if somebody's upset, then we're going to do whatever it takes to make them happy. Uh, because if you're, you're paying, our grips aren't the cheapest and they aren't the most expensive, but still you're paying 50 to $75 for a set of our grips. And if you're buying a set of custom grips, it could be a hundred to $300, depending on how, how, how customized we're getting. And at the end of the day, we're going to do whatever it takes to make, to make our customers happy because that's what we, that's what we, that's how we want to be treated. Right. Right. So, so we do whatever it takes. And if, yeah, like I said, if you look at our reviews online, they're pretty much all positive. And that's just because whatever it takes is what we're going to do to, to make our customers have a good experience. So um, I, I have to interrupt here a minute. Uh, Bald and Curious is saying, uh, Jason, I'm a future upset customer, still want grips for the H9. Uh, I, I thought that was pretty funny. So you, you've got an order. That's another one we started on. I didn't mention that. Uh, again, another just testament to the gun community. Uh, I had a customer. I've never, I've never met him in person. He bought a set of grips for me. We've talked on the phone once or twice. He sent me the lower for his H9. And, uh, you know, let me look at the grips. And we got a, a good start on the design. And like I said, we've been so busy that we just haven't had time to work on, on new products. But he let me hold on to that thing for two months. And and I, I've sent it back to him now. We've got a good start on those grips. We aren't there yet hard to say what the timing is going to be when we actually have something but it is something that we've started on right cool. and well, you certainly don't want to just throw it out there on the market and have issues with it later so it's best to invest the time wisely and get it down right exactly and that's uh that's been something that i've tried to do in every aspect of this business is to do things right the first time because i found if you don't do things right the first time it's hard to find time to go back and fix it later yeah. So every every spot of our business from manufacturing to customer service to the website, we try to do it right the first time. Very awesome. good. All right. So, uh, you know, Jason, right now it's about 843 ish and we have a couple other things to do. You're more than welcome to stay with the chat. Got to go and get some things done. You're also able to just, you know. Uh, hang up on us and uh, you'll be on your way. So it's really up to you, but uh, we're going to transition now into the other topic that we have to also discuss. Um, you're more than welcome to stay. So if not, you know, that's awesome as well. We really do appreciate you being on tonight and just kind of going over with us, the company, the future of the company, where it started from, where it's going. And it's it's just been a, a great honor to have you on. And I, I'm not saying that to kiss your ass. I'm saying that because really it's good to see a business just really, you know, just taking the market by storm and just having amazing success. So we really appreciate you being on. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And thanks for having me. Uh, it's hard for me to say just how much you guys have helped my business. Uh, every day, just about, I get a call from somebody 
that says one of you three even that i was on youtube looking at grips for my cz i seen this this video from big johnson from 1776 from ks talking about your grips and that's how i found out about you uh so you guys have a a, a long reach especially when it comes to these these uh so i can't thank you guys enough and you know it's been awesome working with you guys and just look forward to working more with you in the future uh i think i am going to get out of here right now i got to get my machines back up running again no worries brother but but thanks a lot and yeah just look forward to talking to you guys all right Jason, man. it's been an honor man we we really appreciate it and again you do uh, absolutely amazing work yeah All thank right. you very well, much Jason. Lot, we, we appreciate you being on for sure and also uh you know your instagram is at lock grips so i've been putting that up because people have been asking and then uh, you know your uh website you know is lockgrips.com so if anybody's curious they can go on and check them out yeah thanks for mentioning that <laughs> oh no problem i've been putting them in the site because everybody's been asking <laughs> all right well thanks a lot guys and hope you have a good night all right you, you too jason, jason. Keep Take it care, up. Right. Bye. 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 Later. Let's see. There he, there he goes. All right. So uh, that was awesome. I mean, that was pretty cool. Great guy, man. Really good really guy. Really cool guy. Very cool guy. All right. So uh, let's transition over here um, in, a, in a, I guess, a new direction. So we're going to be talking about something that was just actually published today from everybody's favorite Apex Tactical. And uh, apparently they're doing some, I guess, some feelers for the market to see what the interest would be on certain triggers and, and color combinations. You know, I know that they're talking maybe the, you know, the M&P line, the Walther PPQ, Glock, you know, the real heavy hitters of, of what their business really thrives from. So amazingly enough, they reached out to all three of us, which is kind of awesome. And they sent us their prototype triggers. Um, and we're going to actually show them to you one at a time and uh, kind of get your feedback, see what you guys think about it. And, you know, kind of just see if maybe Apex would be willing to, you know, develop these so that when somebody wants to order their trigger, they have more options. So uh, why don't we start with one of you guys? We'll see what you guys have to show the people out there. So go ahead, like to go first. Okay. Now, um, admittedly, I actually haven't unwrapped mine. I like to keep mine in the package. You know, it's kind of like action figures. You want to keep them in the package because they're worth more. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but this actually is, so it's a Shield 1.0 trigger, and this is all FDE. Um, so it's it's kind of a, um, it's it's a very tempered FDE look, but uh, but it, it's kind of a, 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 I think a first for Apex. I mean, they, I don't think they've really done the FDE sort of thing. So um, I, I think they're really trying to gauge interest on that. Um, and and I, I spent some time reading some of the comments on their post on Instagram today. And there was a lot of really positive response from what I saw. And in fact, overwhelmingly, the trigger that everybody wants, it seems like, or most people want, is the black trigger with the FDE safety, uh, which is pretty cool. So, um, uh, But uh, but I, I think we all got a slight variation of them. And uh, I think I think we're all pretty big fans of FDE, but, uh, but I really like it. I think it's cool. And um, I'm hoping to see them go into full production on this. Yeah. Uh, the one I received is the FDE with the black blade. I don't know how well y'all can see that I did. And I've got the packaging. So I opened my action figure, but I've got the FDE with the black safety blade. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I mean, I could see this on an all FDE gun or something like that. That would be really awesome. Uh, you know, like even if you had like a black back strap to match the black trigger, I think, or the little safety blade, I think that'd be pretty awesome. But it's a damn nice trigger. Uh, well coated. I've looked all over it and I can't find anything wrong with it. But of course, Apex makes great stuff, but I think it's cool. A little flatty. So I'm pretty impressed with it. Yeah. And um, again, I, I would repeat, I know it's not for everybody. Some people don't care colors or whatever, but it just adds to the, I guess you could say your customizing of your handgun. You know, some people um, aren't really into that, you know, and that's understandable. It's not for everybody, but you know, mm -hmm. for myself, I like being able to pick and choose whether it's color sights, grips, you name it. And I think for me as a gun owner and a multi multiple gun owner, it's always big for me to have that option. So the one they sent to me was the all black shoe with the FDE uh, trigger safety there. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I love anything in FDE. So whether it's black and FDE, all FDE, uh, majority FDE, whatever, I don't care. But um, I think these are awesome. And, um, 
you know, I think it really, it really is going to be based upon, you know, who's looking for this, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. You know, I got a lot of flack from people, uh, about the PPQ apex trigger saying, why would you do that? The gun was already perfect. But, you know, again, I would say this is coming from people who have not even put this trigger on. So you don't even know just yeah. how much more perfect that trigger made that PPQ. Um, oh, it does. It you changes know, the PPQ for sure. It's just, it makes it, uh, it's hard to describe unless you actually play with it. And um, in regards to the triggers and just having the the customizing of the trigger, I think that says a lot. You know, we, I know, I think all of us have the, uh, the USA flag on at least one of our Glocks. Um, yeah. You know, I've had the one with my, you know, you know, the US um, Cerakoted Glock, which was just done up with everything, you know, and now I have the 19X with it. And it's, it's not for everyone, but at the same time, it is for people to customize. And uh, it really is all about what you want. And I think if there's a big enough demand, I think Apex should absolutely push these triggers, you know, and even if it's in a limited quantity at first, just to see where it, you know, kind of levels out and then produce more. Hell, I'd be all over it because uh, to me, that's awesome. I mean, they've got an FDE, all FDE um, 2.0, and I've got the Apex in there right now. I mean, how much cooler would that look if you put that FDE trigger in there? I mean, I want one if they have yeah. it. So, Yeah, and you know, like I always say, 31 flavors, that, that just gives somebody a different opportunity and a different choice for something, you know, to go with. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's Apex it. wants to know y'all's feedback. So if you like it, or if you think it's going to be a big deal, throw some, throw some, uh, some love you know, information <laughs> in here, you know, hit up Instagram, let Apex know. Absolutely. You know, they they want to know if it's going to happen. Oh, and anybody that has a 509 and an FNS, uh, just so y'all know, uh, Apex does have an update on it also. It's supposed to release uh, at the end of summer is what they're talking about. Man, I'm excited about that. It'll really wake the FNS up a lot. So. Yeah. Really excited about that. Now I felt that trigger at NRA and it's butter. That thing is awesome. Even Harry, you know, we were both finger banging that thing and we were like, man, this trigger is badass. You know, it was in an F it was in a 509, but it's gonna be an awesome trigger. Yeah. And I think that's one thing that's always pushed me away from that gun is just the fact of the trigger. Um yeah. very, very similar to that MP trigger. But uh, now that they're going to be coming out with that flatty, that's just going to make it even more appealing, I think, for people, especially for those of you who don't really have a lot of experience with it. The flat trigger does make a difference. Um, maybe not necessarily something you can measure in a great quantity, but uh, in regards to the trigger pull, it's just a little bit more efficient. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Totally agree. And then Baldy yeah. is saying we should stop buying guns that need trigger upgrades. But then that ruins all the fun. Right. Okay, but hang on, hang on. If you watch every one of Bald and Curious's videos, it's how can I tweak this trigger to make it better? And he's taking shit apart and filing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. He's done. He's, he's just done mad, the red he's mad that uh, they have nothing for grand power yet. So. Yeah, he's done the redneck engineering. Trust me, I've seen it, and he's not even a redneck. Uh, it's funny. So, but uh, yeah, just let them know your feedback. Whatever you uh, you subscribers think, and you know. Maybe they'll pop it out there for them. Yeah, and I would definitely uh, go to their Instagram and and hit them up there. Say that they, you know, you saw saw the uh, introductories of it, and um, you know, just tell them what you think. Tell them which one, what color combination works, what doesn't, and what guns you'd like to see them for. So, and tell them that obviously it's the all FDE one. That's yeah. the only one that matters. Uh, listen, you know, whatever you guys like, don't listen to KS. Whatever. Yeah. But I like but that. I, all, really I like cool. the all FDE one. And we're, we're the only three that didn't send these to anybody else. So I thought that was actually really cool that yeah. they reached out to us and said, and hey, we'd know, like to do this. It's the same quality. It's the same fit and finish. There's nothing that's different necessarily from the way they've manufactured any of the other triggers. So you get the aluminum construction. It's uh, really nice. You know, the trigger safety recesses all the way back. So it's very, very, very you know, once again, top-notch quality from Apex. They're just kind of going out there and saying, hmm, how can we make this a little bit more appealing to the, pop uh, to the public? So definitely push it if you like it. I know I'm going to be begging. So, because yeah. it's FTE, man, you got it. So, yeah. um, oh, so one, more, one more thing more on, more on the Apex. You know, with part of their testing, a lot of people have asked me, and maybe they've asked y'all also, you know, uh, are they drop safe and stuff like that? Actually, Apex has risen their standard over other triggers. A lot of the triggers are only tested like, you know, from waist. They just drop them from their waist or maybe a little shoulder. Apex actually does theirs from inside a closet, like closet height all the way up. Uh, if, it, if it were going to fall off of a shelf in a closet. And that's pretty cool that they actually go that extra little mile to make sure that they're safe. So, right. So let them know. It's going to be pretty awesome. 
All right. What else do you have? 17. You got something else going on? Uh, yeah. So I got uh, a big giveaway. I, I don't really do many giveaways. So I had to reach out and ask for some advice from uh, a person who has a hell of a lot more subscribers than I do that, of course, being Coda boy. Um, and I kind of asked him like what he would do if uh, he had the option of doing something with a certain company. And he gave me some good advice. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to announce what it is. I'm going to put out a video this weekend with the you know with the official rules and the length and time so that everybody's aware but um first off this is for subscribers um if you're not a subscriber to my channel you know what no offense guys it, it really is for the people who have supported this channel in the two years it's been around you know i'm over i think 5200 plus or whatever i don't i don't really keep track that often but it's been just a great run and um i was able to actually convince <laughs> convince a company to sponsor the giveaway which even makes it better because then you know it's something that somebody can actually do for themselves as opposed to me just having one particular thing and if you have it then great if not then you can't participate so um i'm gonna show you what uh what i have and uh it's one of these little bad boys right here. So uh, if you guys are not aware, Black Arch Holsters is probably my go-to holster 95% of the time. I wouldn't say 100% of the time because if I'm running out real quick, I'll throw in that single Kydex, usually from Harry. Uh, but really, this is the go-to for me. And they were awesome enough to say, hey, man, if you want to do a giveaway, we'll be more than happy to supply you with the holster. So basically how this works is if you're a subscriber to the channel, again, I'll give the rules a little bit more formal this weekend, but uh, you're going to have to do a VR um, and I'll talk more about that this weekend. And you guys are going to have 30 days to actually do this. So you have 30 days to respond with a, a quality VR. Again, I'll tell you a little bit more about it this weekend. So you guys you know, can live a little bit on the edge. And um, after 30 days, I'm going to randomly pick someone and whoever wins you get to choose your own holster, colors, Kydex, you name it, um, it's yours. And you'll be forwarding that information to me. I'll forward it over to Black Arch, and then they will send the holster out to you. So um, again, it's it's pretty big for me because I don't do many giveaways, if at all. And it's even bigger because you guys are going to get, in my opinion, the best hybrid type holster on the market today. Um, you know, I, I wear them consistently. They're just awesome. So that's the giveaway. And uh, like I said, the rules and everything will, you know, be given out this weekend. Uh, KS and Big J are not allowed to enter. Wah, um, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're allowed to enter, uh, although I will not pick them. Um, but because I want to make this as fair as possible. But no, seriously, everybody, if you're a subscriber, you get to, you know, have the option of doing it. And it's really up to you if you choose to do that. Um, so Bald is saying, uh, the giveaway do doesn't cost him anything and he makes money a video nice so bald would you like to be banned from this because yeah. <laughs> that's very easy to do sir it's it's called you actually reaching out to somebody instead of sitting back waiting it for it to happen um yeah. so again you know it's just my way of giving back and a company is willing to sponsor that so absolutely i'm all in and again the product is going to be good quality because it's something that i use every day so yeah. uh, We've got a couple of questions like what is a, a VR? So if you want to explain. Uh, the VR is a video response. So basically, you're just going to make a video on a specific topic that I'm going to give you. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be 20 minutes long. It could be, you know, just a minute long. Well, and then, I'm out then. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. KS is automatically out. And then um, basically what will happen is you'll link the VR to uh, the comment section of my video when I put out the, uh, the, con the contest. And then I'll sort it through there. So basically, that's how it's going to work. And like I said, I'll explain everything in more detail this weekend. Yeah, Bald is saying that it's called begging. And actually, I just responded, it's called support. Yeah. So, yeah. so your VR, though, some of the requirements, there will have to be a car chase and a few explosions. Yep, yep. yep. You're going to have to jump off a building somewhere, um, right, right. maybe do a barrel roll out of a moving car and shooting a target. That some kind parkour, of stuff. right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, nothing, nothing like that. It's going to be really basic. Just got to be a sub. And if you have sour grapes, like some people currently who are leaving really rude comments, um, you have a choice of not entering, sir. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. Like I said, it just supports, you know, channels. And I mean, that's kind of what it's all about. And we all, you know, hell, we all, you know, do VRs and stuff to support other channels. So, but uh, no, that's awesome, man. Yep. So everybody's in. If you're in, great. Uh, like I said, you have the option of doing it. Nobody's forcing you to do it. And uh, again, it's from a company that makes great stuff. So I, I can't see why anybody would be complaining. Cool. All right. So uh, at this yeah. point, we're just about done. 
you guys tell me what uh, you want to you know sign off on, and we'll go from there. Go ahead, Chaos. Um, uh, well, uh, so obviously thank each and every one of you for joining us as always. Um, this is, uh, it's always a ton of fun and, and we continue to get to know you guys. I mean, we're like one big happy family right now that occasionally fight with each other bald. Um, but, uh, but no, uh, some fun stuff on the channel on the way this weekend. Uh, it's the, uh, the Beretta PX4 storm. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, and then, uh, several other things that I'm working on right now, actually the plate's kind of full. And so it's a matter of kind of trying to churn and burn some of this stuff and get it out there. So I've been a little bit slow lately. I apologize, but uh, but there is a lot of content on the way. Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys, um, each and every one of you. I uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, and I definitely want to uh, appreciate all the subs. You know, that's that's a great thing that y'all do. We enjoy doing this every Wednesday, and it was really, really nice to have Jason on. You know, he's a big, big supporter of the channel and the guys um, or all of us. And uh, we really appreciate him being on. And I hope, you know, maybe y'all got some information answered that he was uh, able to answer. And, um, you know, we're, uh, I've got, uh, I'm really enjoying the Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, please follow all of us on Instagram. You know, basically it's our names and uh, we're uh, having a good time with that too. And um, got some videos coming out. So I've got one, uh, it'll be the Glock 19 versus the FNS, which is pretty cool. And it's actually kind of surprising. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's about what I've got going on. All right. Very good. So, um, I'm still waiting for my APX. I, I think that's, you know, at some point this year going to happen. Uh, so I'm waiting for that. Got a couple other things coming in the, uh, you know, soon, hopefully, uh, including an amazing rifle that will be here very soon. So, uh, I look Ooh, forward cool. to, uh, doing some rifle shooting for once, but other than that, you know, it's, it was a great night. You know, we had a good guest. Um, I believe it's a really nice giveaway <laughs> and uh i think you should all you know definitely hit up uh apex and and definitely tell them how you feel about those triggers and let's get that moving you know it's the power of all of us together that get these uh things that we want so right. thanks for joining us guys jason was awesome uh you guys are awesome sometimes um i mean you and and big jks and uh hopefully you guys have a great night and we'll see you uh next week thanks everyone carry on all later right. see you guys